Hi there, my name is Janice, fitness and sports instructor at CFB Kingston. Today we are going to go through a leg workout. Um, we're really going to blast through those legs and we're going to tie in some cardio moves as well that will also going to work that lower body. So we're going to get a really good lower body burn today. So what we are doing is, we've got two parts. First part, setting a four minute clock. We've got five exercises. You're gonna need 12 repetitions of each of those exercises in those four minutes. If you finish before the four minutes is up, you're resting until that four minutes is up and until we head into our cardio burst. So our five exercises, I'm gonna go through explaining them first um, and then we're do the warm up and then I will demonstrate everything before we actually get into the workout. So five exercises, we've got goblet squats, glute bridges, alternating lateral lunges, so going side to side, uh, ground to overhead, and then alternating reverse lunges. So doing 12 repetitions of each of those exercises, so those unilateral exercises, the lateral lunges, and the reverse lunges, we're gonna be doing 12 per side, so that'll be total 24. So four minutes, five exercises, if you finish before the four minutes are up, rest until that timer goes off, and then we are right into our cardio burst. So for our cardio burst, we're doing 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So we've got a two to one work to rest ratio. First exercise is hand release burpees, then you're into skaters, mountain climbers, and then jump squats. So that'll be a total of three minutes for that. And then we're gonna rest for two minutes before starting it all over again. So our goal is to get through four rounds of this total circuit today. Um, if you are doing this on your own, uh, you can try to go through anywhere from three to five rounds to get a good burn in those legs. I am gonna say, first round is gonna be kind of your benchmark round. So if you find that in that four minute clock that pumping out those 12 reps of each of the exercises is just too much and you're not finishing before that four minutes, uh, expires, then for each round after that, drop it down to 10 reps of each exercise. All right, so let's get started into our warm up. So I'm gonna have you start, and we're gonna pull those knees up towards the chest. Just start warming up through those hip flexors. Get a little tug. Now there's all different uh, levels of each exercise that you can do today and I will demonstrate that with each of the exercises. All right, we're gonna pull those heels up towards the butt. And as I am demonstrating each of the exercises, you can run and grab your resistance. You can use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, um, you can use a medicine ball if you have one of those, a sandbag, tub of laundry detergent, whatever you have that's gonna add a little bit of extra resistance. Uh, mine's about 15 pounds today, but you can use anywhere, um, any, any weight that is going to be challenging for you, because we want to make sure that we are challenging those muscles. All right, Frankenstein marches. So we're going to reach hand towards opposite toe. Focus here, keeping that leg straight. So if you can only reach as far as the knee, based on your flexibility, that's fine. Try to avoid bending the knee just to reach for the toes. Want to feel a nice stretch down the back of your legs here, hamstrings into those calves as you pull that toe up. Just doing some general movements here. We're going to get into some mobility after. All right, we're going to move into those lateral lunges. So you're going to step out to one side, sit those hips back, step it in, and back. Gonna mimic some of the movements that we have in the workout today. One more on each side. Then we're gonna go in to just regular air squats right in the middle. So feet hip to shoulder distance apart, just sitting them back and down. 
Keep that chest up, gaze forward. You don't have to go fast through this movement. Only going as low as is comfortable. Then we're gonna move into some alternating lunges. So since we're gonna be stepping back during the workout, we're gonna do reverse lunges here as well. So step that right foot back, weights in that front leg, just alternating side to side. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed through your whole foot at the front. We're coming down 90 to 90, bringing that back knee down towards the floor. All right, we're gonna move into some mobility here. So I'm gonna have you come down to the floor. Step that right foot back, bringing the right knee down towards the floor. Uncurl those toes at the back. Front knee is bent. Make sure when we start here, I want your ankle under your knee so it's not too far back because we are gonna be leaning forward. So from here, I'm gonna push those hips forward Reach those arms up, push that right hip down towards the floor. Nice inhale here. And then on the exhale, you're gonna push those hips back and straighten through that front leg. Reach that chest down towards the front leg. You can pull those toes up. If you can sit right back onto the hips, that's good. If you can't, just come as far as you're comfortable. And then on the next inhale, coming forward again. Push this hip forward and down. Avoid arching through that back. Just stay nice and tall through that torso, exhale, sit back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. One more on this side. Good, and then we're gonna switch sides. So inhaling, stepping that right foot forward, left hip pushes down towards the floor, reaching those arms up. Exhale, sit it back as far as is comfortable. Pull the toe up. Inhale, up. And exhale, back. Inhale. And exhale. Knee can be down at the back, or you can be up on the toe, up to you. Left hand is coming down to the floor. On your inhale, gonna rotate that right arm up, reaching up towards the ceiling, bringing that gaze up towards that right arm. Coming back down, reaching under the left, and then rotating right back up. So that your knee is up or down. You're keeping those hips level here as we work through the thoracic spine. Inhale, down and reach. And up. Inhale here. Exhale, down and reach. One more on this side. And down. Good, we're gonna switch sides. So just bring both hands to the floor. Step that right foot back. Step the left foot forward. Drop the knee down if you want. Or stay up. Right hand is on the floor this time. Inhale, left hand reaches up. And then exhale, down and through under the arm. Inhale, up, and exhale, down. You will notice that one side will probably be tighter than the other, and will not rotate quite as well. That is this side for me. One more on this side. Good. Both hands coming to the floor. Step the left foot back, you're gonna rock up onto the toes, push those hips up towards the ceiling. Walk those hands back, and slowly roll it up. We're gonna come into inch arms here. So standing tall, tuck the chin towards the chest, 
Start to roll that upper body down, bringing the hands towards the ground. If you need to bend the knees to reach the ground, that is fine. Walk those hands forward, coming into a nice long plank. Walk those hands forward a little bit more. Hold, two, and then walk those hands back. Roll up. Let's go again. Tuck that chin down, roll the upper body. Walk those hands out, coming to plank. And then walk them out just a little bit more. Hold for one, two, and then walk those hands back. We're going to do one more. Good. Coming back to that hanging position. We're not going to roll up all the way this time. We're going to drop back down onto the ground, all fours and come into some fire hydrant hip circles. So starting on whichever side you would like, I'm going to start on the right side. I'm going to pull the knee in towards the chest and then rotate it out, back and down. We're going to do five in each direction. Three, nice and slow, open that hip. Four, five, and then rotating to go the other direction. So back, out, in and down. Avoid rocking those hips too much side to side and letting that back, that low back collapse. And then switching sides. So same thing, pull that knee in towards the chest, open it up, and back. Really waking up through those hips. One more in this direction. And then reverse, back. Good. And that's it for the warm up. So slowly, slowly coming back up to your feet. Run and grab your resistance, whatever you want to use. Kettlebell, dumbbell, backpack, uh, sandbag, whatever you have that's going to add some resistance. So I'm going to demonstrate with the kettlebell and the dumbbell. So kettlebell is what I'm going to be using. Goblet squat to start bringing that weight up to the chest, pulling it in that goblet position. Feet should be wherever is most comfortable for you in order to get that depth in your squat. So you're just gonna sit those hips back and down, avoid letting those knees collapse into the center. If you are using a dumbbell, you can hold it on either end, or you can hold it just as um, one end in that goblet position. Second exercise is your bridge exercise. So you're laying down on your back. If you don't want to use resistance for this one, you don't have to. In actual fact, you don't have to use resistance for any of these exercises. All of them can be done strictly body weight, including that ground overhead. So, glute bridge. We're gonna rest that weight on the hips. So feet are in nice and toe close to the buttocks. Uh, knees are hip distance apart. Avoid letting them flare open or collapse in. Weight is in those heels. You're going to squeeze the glutes, tuck the pelvis, lift the hips up off the ground and down. Up and down. Hold for a hot second at the top before you come back down. Next up, we've got alternating lateral lunges. Goblet with that resistance again, up at the chest. Stepping out to the side. Make sure you're not rotating those hips. Feet are facing forward, hips are sitting back. Coming in, switch to the other side. If you are more comfortable doing all 12 on one side before doing 12 on the other, that is totally up to you. You can alternate or you can do them all on one side. So just remember, do not rotate through those hips. Feet are facing, facing forward. Hips are going back. They're not shooting out to the side. And then we've got our ground to overhead. With the kettlebell, it is a little bit easier. You don't have to reach quite as far because of the horn. But it's just totally fine to do it with the dumbbell as well. So, kettlebell. 
Weight's going to be between your feet. Squat down. Grab it by the horns. Flip it up. Push it overhead. So you squat, lift, and push. If you're using the dumbbell, just have to reach a little farther. Grab it by either side. Peel it up. Push it overhead. And then our last one is our alternating reverse lunges. So you're holding your goblet again. Step it back. Weights in that front foot, just like in the warm up. Even weight distribution through your whole foot. And alternating side to side. Once again, just like with the lateral lunges, if you want to do a 12 on one side, if some four switching to the other, that is fine. If you are having balance issues, widen your feet a little more for stability. When stepping back, if that's still bothering you, just do a split squat and just hold it in place without stepping that foot in. It's a little bit easier for the balance. Then we'll move into our cardio burst. Hand release burpees. Pretty straightforward, but you do have your options on how you're getting into that burpee and how much impact you're having. So, level one. Hands coming to the ground, step the feet back. Coming down to the belly, lift the hands. Step the feet in, reach up. Level two, down, jump the feet back. Lift the hands, jump the feet in, stand up. And the full is the jump at the top. Always remember to lift those hands. Second one is skaters. So side to side, hopping side to side or stepping side to side. Even if you take that impact out, keep that intensity up. Mountain climbers, down in plank position, wrists are under your shoulders, pulling those knees in. Hips are not up in a V. You're down in a nice plank and just pulling those knees in. And then the last one is jump squats. So we're not going for depth on these jump squats, we're going for speed. So shallow squat and jump. Make sure when you land, you're absorbing and exploding right back up again. Don't come down and then stand up and then try to jump again. I want you to use that momentum, load and explode. All right? So those are all of the exercises. Grab a quick drink, get your resistance ready, and we'll get right into it. Get my timer ready for us. All right, two, one, let's go, starting with those goblet squats. Don't let those knees collapse in. Count your reps. 12 of these. After this, you're into those blue bridges. I got one more. Good. Carefully coming down. Bringing the weight to the hips. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, pushing through the heels, lift those hips up. You should feel this in the hamstrings and the glutes. Nice squeeze at the top. Keep breathing. Alternating lateral lunges are after these glute bridges. Carefully set your resistance aside before picking it back up. Step it out, sit those hips back. We're at the two minute mark. Halfway. Next 
is ground overhead. Squat, pull it up, push it overhead. Don't rock on those toes, forwards or back. And then alternating lunges. I'm gonna flip my kettlebell over. We got one minute to go. Keep breathing. Weights in that front foot. Once you're done, set your resistance aside. Resting until the four minutes is done. Coming up on 10 seconds, then we're gonna head into those burpees. If you have not finished, keep going right to the end. Two, one, four minutes is done. Let's get ready. We got 30 seconds. Hand release burpees. Three, two, one, go. Remember to release those hands at the bottom. Try to stay consistent with your pacing through the whole 30 seconds. Count how many you did the first round. Do that the second, third, and fourth. Two, one, press. Good, 15 seconds. We're into those skaters. Lateral movement, side to side. If you need to step it, that's fine. Just keep that uh, intensity up. Two, one, go. Stay low. Bend those knees. Three, two, one, rest. Good. 15 seconds, we're into the jump squats. Five, three, sorry, mountain climbers. Two, one, down to those mountain climbers. Almost skip one. This is another one, pace yourself on. Continuous movement for those 30 seconds. Don't burn yourself out within the first 10 seconds. Sustainability is what we're going for. Rest. Don't forget to keep breathing. Last one. Now we've got our jump squats. And we've got our nice two minute extended break. Three, two, one, go. Down and up. Load and explode. Absorb that impact on the way down. If you're not jumping, just rise up onto those toes. That's your low impact version. Good. Two minutes. Keep moving around. Towel off. Grab a drink. One round up. So, if you were unable to complete 
Those 12 reps on that four minute clock in round one, drop it down to 10 for rounds two, three, and hopefully four. And if you found that maybe your weight was a little too much for round one, maybe drop down on that weight. This is uh, muscular endurance, a little bit more on that endurance side. We've got a very high volume today. So airing a little on the lower side for that resistance level is advised. Of course, you said that right from the beginning. We have just under a minute to go. Make sure that heart rate and breathing rate have come down. We're back into that strength portion with our goblet squat. Thirty seconds. Gaze and chest up. Make those outer hips and glutes work to push you right back up again. We're just under the two minute mark. Halfway there. Ground overhead when you're done those lateral lunges. Squat and push. Lift it up, push it overhead.
Ten seconds. Oof. A little slower that time. Four minutes is up. Let's go. We've got hammer those burpees in three, two, one, go. Remember, you can just step this out too. Side step. Rest. Mountain climbers. Three, two, one, go. Keep that core tight. Don't let those hips raise. Rest. Final one for this round. Jump squat. Three, two, one, go.
three, two, one, go. Control those movements. Glute bridges. Alternating lateral lunges. Two at a mark. Ground overhead. Got a minute left. If you finished your resting, we got 10 seconds, and then we are into those burpees. Two, one, go. Thank you. 
Start in three. Go. You're getting tired. Don't let those hips sag or start to rise. Stay low in that plank. Squeeze at the top of that glute bridge. Make those glutes and hamstrings work.
Keep breathing. Just under two minutes. Thirty seconds. Getting ready for the final cardio burst. You have two minutes. Start in 10. And release burpees. Go.
and done. Good job, everybody. Grab a drink, towel off, keep moving around, and cool it down. All right. Just kind of moving side to side here. Keep those feet going. Nice inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's do that one more time. Nice big inhale and exhale down. Grab hold of one foot, doesn't matter which one, pull the heel up towards the butt. Pin you to the chair, a wall, another person. Hold on to for your balance, that's fine. Knees should be pointing straight down towards the floor. Push those hips forward slightly so you feel a nice stretch through that quadricep front of the thigh. They worked hard today. Good. That same foot, just bring it in front of you. Coming up onto the heel. Keeping that knee straight, just bend the left knee or the opposite knee and sit those hips back. Hands coming down on the bent leg. Don't push on that straight one. Just reach those hips back so you feel a nice stretch down the back of your leg. Keep breathing comfortably here. Bring that heart right down and that breathing right down. Good, we're gonna switch sides. So pull the other heel up towards the butt. Knees are in line. Push those hips forward slightly. Good work today. There's a lot of work for those legs. Get them nice and strong to support you during those sports and activities that you do. Good, really step foot, bring it in front. Pull the heel up, sit those hips back. Forget to hydrate, grab a nice recovery snack. Good. Step the right foot back, drop the knee down to the floor, coming into a nice low lunge here. Both hands down on the floor if that's comfortable. This is enough of a stretch for you up here. Knee, sorry, knee over ankle, back leg is elongated behind you, pushing that hip down towards the floor as we stretch through that hip flexor. Deeper stretch, your hands are down on the floor. Or if you really want to deepen it, you can go down right onto your elbows. Like that. And we're gonna switch sides. up on the thigh if you want, knee over ankle, or hands down on the floor. Good. Come in to sit. Bring those soles of your feet together. Nice little butterfly stretch here. Heels do not need to be in close to the groin. You can be at wherever it's comfortable for you. Just grabbing hold of those ankles, let those knees fall open, lean forward, leading with that chest to so feel a nice stretch through those inner thighs. If you want to deepen that, light pressure from the elbows on the tops of the knees, but don't force them down. Just let the weight of the arms push them down. Good, and that is it for me today. Good work with that workout. If you would like to join us for any more workouts, please subscribe below. We've got lots of different options available for you. And I hope to see you again at another time, another workout. Have a great day.
PSP Kingston, the health and wellness provider for the military community.